another Portuguese recipe. This one is called bacalhau à bras. It's uh, with codfish. Um, it's supposed to to be with the less important parts of the, the codfish. Uh, actually, this is the end of the codfish. This would be already a good part of the codfish, and this one's not that much. Are the the side parts? So what we are going to do is some um, uh, some olive oil, uh, uh, onions, garlic, one leaf, and uh, let it fry a bit. It's already lower temperature. And now here we are going to boil the codfish. So. For five minutes, the codfish will be boiled, and uh, after that, we'll peel it, take out the bones, uh, the skin, and everything, put it into small chunks, and mix it with this. After that, add the, the some fries, um, mix a bit. Um, well, also put some some spices. Uh, and at the end, uh, scrambled eggs to involve everything. Uh, it's a it's a very very nice uh, dish. I really love it. So we are going to season it with uh, this um, this knoch. It's a Portuguese one, so it, I, I guess it's uh, you don't find it elsewhere. Uh, it's for fish. Although if you don't have it, you can also use the chicken one because it gives a, a flavor. Uh, and also some pepper, a tiny bit of salt. You have to be careful because codfish can be salted, can be quite salted. It depends on how you took out the, the salt before, which uh, later on I will do a video about it, how to to take the salt out of the, the salted codfish. So we just add this one, a bit of white pepper, not much. After I add the codfish, I will add a bit of um, uh, wine, white wine. And also a, a tiny bit of the water that will come out of here. So just add the, the codfish. Um, put it at a very high temperature, the stove and let it boil for approximately five minutes no, not not more otherwise you, you, it will be a bit tough that fish is boiled look how it gets very nice now take it out wait it to cool down a bit because uh, now it's uh, quite hot and uh, after that we are going to take all these bones and skin and everything and just leave the shanks to add to this. Look here. Very nice. Keep a bit of water, not much, uh, less than one glass, uh, to add to the, um, when we add the, the codfish, we will add a, a bit of this water to give a bit of flavor. Okay, already peeled it, took out the, the bones. We have very big parts, but, so this is what we want, and now these ones I'm gonna put them like that. So small pieces and then add everything watch out for the bones uh, because they, they actually have quite big bones on the other hand because they are big they are quite easy to to find when you know that uh, the codfish is good and it's uh, well um, uh, well cooked in this case boiled so for example when you open it and you see like this at it opening very nice so it cannot be overcooked 
The codfish, when it gets overcooked, really gets a tough fish, and we don't want that. Now, add the, the codfish with this. Mix it well and let it cook for approximately five minutes at a lower temperature stove. Because now what we want is to mix the flavors. It's already cooked, so it doesn't need to cook for a long time. Um, after this, when this part is done, we are, we are actually going to add this. It can be done with uh, real fries, actually the traditional way is with real fries, but it takes ages, so <laughs> nowadays we use quite a lot of this type of chips. Um, so let's see. Now we are going to add a bit of wine, white wine, not much. and involve every single time. Also add a bit of this water. Again, not much. This will also give a bit of flavor. I'm gonna add more of this water when I add um, the chips uh, for them to, to be more soft. At the end, we don't want the chips to be tough because uh, it's supposed to be more, yeah, not, not tough. So now we are just going to wait for the, um, the wine to, to lose uh, a bit of the acid. Um, just notice that I didn't add any salt whatsoever. Because the codfish already has salt, plus the knoch uh, sauce will also have uh, uh, salt. So I doubt that, that, uh, that I will add. I will add actually when I will scramble the eggs and uh, just a bit for the, the eggs to get a bit of salt. But for this, nothing. Also, don't forget that the chips also have salt. If you can find them without salt, it's better. I have to be honest, I, I don't know how, mu how much is the quantity of the chips. I never do, so it's mm, more or less. I guess this one I added around 200 grams. By the sound, it, need, it means that it needs water. So I'm gonna add a bit of water. It's cooking at a low temperature. Not, not much water. Just, just a tiny bit. And mix everything together several times. This part is done. So now it's just add the scrambled eggs. The, the sheets, they are already quite soft. Everything is well mixed. So this stage is over. Okay, now we have six eggs mixed and we add a bit of salt not much white pepper and that's it normally i would add here parsley cut um but not everybody likes it in in the house so I will cut it for myself and add it just uh, at, uh, for me on my plate. You already put so now it's again uh, in the stove. We are gonna mix everything with the, with the eggs. And this is to keep mixing a lot. It's, it's almost done, and it's done. So just the finishing is some some olives. And some parsley.
and it's ready to eat. Hope you like it.